I think there's there's certainly an element of that, yes, and I think it's it's driven by a, a bit of a populist narrative in uh, in the media, uh, and it's a populist narrative which uh, uh, also uh, catches the attention of an electorate, and so to some extent, the political class uh, has to has to uh, has to follow it. But I still think that there are. Um, you know, uh, powerful authorities in in the West who who don't believe in protectionism and don't believe in onshoring and nearshoring and do believe in the, you know, the benefits of uh, of, uh, of, um, of of free trade uh, and comparative advantage, which you know all economists learn to write about at a very early stage. Um, I mean, I, I uh, if I can be a bit historic for a moment, um, you know, the, 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 one, the one case study for me that I think reveals a lot about the disbenefits of protectionism uh, um, are the Corn Laws in the United Kingdom, where, where I come from originally. And the, and the Corn Laws were uh, corn applied to all cereals, uh, wheat, barley, oats, and so on, that were grown in the United Kingdom. And they were tariffs imposed by the then Tory political class on imports. And they were imposed to protect the landowners who grew more expensively these cereals uh, than they could um, buy them externally from importing them. And this led to terrible famine and it led to terrible poverty and it led to riots uh, and it led to insurrection. And as the urban class was growing, in the United Kingdom, uh, they were they felt very very let down by uh, by by this act of protectionism, uh, and it took actually a Tory Prime Minister Robert Peel to repeal uh, the Corn Laws to get rid of them. And when the Corn Laws went, there was this economic resurgence uh, because people could then focus resource and capital. Uh, on 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 the productive parts of the economy, and you know, some people uh, would argue that this was the beginning of the industrial revolution, uh, mm -hmm. the repeal of the Corn Laws. Um, and so, you know, you, you know, if we're moving in that direction now, then we are going to. It won't. It won't last. By the way, it will be. It, it may be long lived. I hope not. I hope it's short lived. But very soon the world will realize that it doesn't work because it's never worked in the past.